First, check the oil sight glass for a change in oil level or a milky color. Clear golden or a dark color is okay, but a milky white or gray color or a change in oil level could indicate a torn diaphragm. Drain the oil using the oil drain plug in the bottom of the pump. If there isn't an oil drain plug, remove one of the lower pump heads, peel up the diaphragm, and drain the oil that way. Once the oil is drained, remove the valve plugs and check the suction and delivery valves. Make sure that nothing is corroded, broken, or stuck in the valve and that the valve seat can move up and down freely on the spring. Pull the O-rings using an O-ring puller. Once you've inspected, cleaned, and or replaced the valves, put them back in the pump the same way they were. Most pumps have a system that prevents you from putting the valves in backwards. Now remove the head bolts on the top of the pump. When you remove the head, turn it upside down and notice that there is a tab to ensure that you put the right head back in the right place. Not all three heads are the same. Underneath, you will see a diaphragm bolt, a diaphragm washer, and the rubber diaphragm. Remove the diaphragm bolt using a wrench or socket. Then remove the disc and peel up the diaphragm. Squeeze and bend the diaphragm to look for cuts or swelling and refer to our diaphragm failure chart at www.cometpumpusa.com. This chart will give you a good idea of why the diaphragm broke. Once the diaphragm is out, turn the shaft by hand to try and lift the piston sleeve. If the sleeve does not lift on its own, gently pry it up using a screwdriver. The piston and connecting rods will be exposed. Once the piston sleeves are all out, wash out the inside of the pump using a cloth, pressurized air, paint thinner, or bar sole. Be sure to wash it out very well so that there is no remaining chemical or residue in the pump. With everything clean, start by replacing one of the lower piston sleeves. Each sleeve has two holes across from each other that should be lined up perpendicular to the pump shaft. In other words, you could draw a straight line through all six holes when they're installed. Once the sleeve is in, replace the diaphragm, the disc with the cup shape down, and the bolt using a torque wrench. Torque specs can be found at www.cometpumpusa.com. Once the diaphragm is in place and set inside the crankcase, go ahead and put the pump head back on. Pay attention to the tab on the bottom of the head. Do this for all three pump heads and then replace the oil drain plug. Next, turn the shaft by hand to make sure everything is moving freely and that you don't hear any strange noises. You should hear just a smooth vacuum sound. You can insert two of the gearbox or shaft kit screws into the shaft to help with turning. Now pour fresh oil into the oil sight glass until it fills the oil cup about halfway. Then turn the shaft by hand while rocking the pump side to side. You will see air bubbles escape and the level will drop. Tap off the oil and repeat, this time turning the pump in all directions to ensure that you get all the trapped air out, especially in the top chamber. Failure to do this will result in a premature diaphragm failure and or the oil turning milky white even though the diaphragm is not broken. You are now done and ready to install your pump.